So, hey guys, it's me again, obviously. But today we are going to make these cool little necklaces. Uh, DIY and whatever. But I used a bit of a long string, but if you do do that, then just wrap it around and if you don't like it right here, you can always just put it back through here again. And, uh, but, yeah, so what you will need for this is anything that you either want to wreck or, or uh, just that'll fit in one of your little bottles. Make sure it has a cork, glass, plastic, whatever, as long as it's see-through. For that one that I just showed you guys, I used these and I cut lots of them up. And then I just stuck them in there. My nanny gave me those, my nanny gave me these. And for this, all you need is this, whatever you want to put in it. And paper clips hot glue, and ah, a string or chain or whatever you want to wrap it around your neck with. And for mine, I am going to be putting perler beads. I have a whole nother bottle, uh, not bottle, bucket, and I made this out of perler beads. It's a bowl. But, yeah, so, well, all you gotta do is just take off your cork, and fill whatever it is up with as many of those things as you can fit. Now, make sure you don't go over this little rim. So, I gotta empty a couple of mine out. Okay, so, then, you want to take the cork, and you are going to take, where did I put my paper clip? My paper clips, and again, my nanny gave me these paper clips. Thank you, nanny. I was at her house the other day. And then, uh, you want this long side. Scissors are these, uh, wire cutters. You might break your scissors, though, so I use wire cutters. Or even most, whoa, where'd that go? Okay, so you need the big piece, or even most, uh, uh, pliers will have wire cutters. Okay, and then you need to hook this. Like you need, oh, this is the hard part because it always spins. So what I like to do is I like to stick it on my leg, hold it, and then see how... Wait, see, it's kind of tricky. But now that I got it right there, I could just bend it back. But now it kind of hangs off. So then just Push that over there, and then snip the ex the access off. I'm gonna bend mine up a bit more. Okay, one, two, and three. Yeah, that shot into my leg. So then you kind of want something that looks like this. Can you guys even see that? Yeah. So then you want something that looks like this. Wait, where's my little? Thing? Oh, there they are. Okay. And then you're gonna take your cork. It doesn't have to be in the direct center, but as close as you could get to the center. Pierce it right through. If it's on an angle like that, that's fine. My other one I bent like 8,000 times. Okay, and then you want to do this. Now this is the tricky part. This is where you're going to need your pliers. I mean, not pliers. Uh, thingies. Mm, what are they? Needle nose pliers work the best. And I'll be right back. I have to go find them. Now, of course, instead of making your own, you could always just use one it's already made for you and then just screw it in but that's way too easy and it won't be a full DIY so then once you grab these this this uh bend it to the longest part hurt and you just want to bend it bend it up but you gotta bend this part back down bend this up and over and then now that you're right here, you just gotta pinch that down and pull it back. Okay, and now see if that does get to start get to pull out, start pulling out, then then we'll just get stuck there. And now I'm just gonna use these ones again, and I'm just gonna snip a tiny, tiny bit off. Now look, it's kind of hanging off here. That won't matter at all. Now you want to take your thing and shove it down as far as you can. Now, make sure it doesn't go completely into the bottle, but here's where your hot glue comes in place. You don't need it, 
You could use it, you could use regular glue, super glue, any glue will work. Or even not, because see, it holds pretty tight. But I just thought, why not add some glue? I like it, you could hardly see it. Like mine, mine goes more white than anything. You can't even see it. So, I'm actually going to wear this, I actually kind of like this thing. Okay, but, I'll be right back once I get to the hot glue gun. It's not in my office right now. Yes, I have my own office. Now, of course, uh, you could add water to this before you hot glue it. But just like give it a, a little cooler effect. And I'm going to go see how that works. So I'll come back if I like it. And if I don't, I'll still show you guys. Okay, so I just wanted to show you guys really quickly. The, the, uh, my little Dremel. I made it clear and, and yeah. And then I have a fan blade for it if I get hot. And then I have a little saw blade for it. I have a 100 grid uh, sandpaper blade and a 150 grid sandpaper blade. And this is really just it. You could look up how to make a little Dremel. And I don't have a switch, so all mine is is just. But yeah, it's actually really cool and I love it and yeah. I also made my brother one but his isn't clear. His is right here. And he only wanted the saw blade. Probably shouldn't cut the fork. But yeah, here. Show you guys that it actually works and... Here, hold on. But yeah, it actually does work, and his is on an angle, so it's kind of hard to work with. But then, so what I did is, all I, hold on, I just got to show my cork back in. Okay, so all I did was I just took out some of my perler beads, put in some water, and put in some food color, and I just shook it up, just like this. Yes, and then... All you gotta do now is just take your hot glue gun. I don't know where you guys can see. Hold on, my my sinking necklace that I'm wearing is in the way. I shortened the string. Okay. Take your hot glue gun. Take this and just put a tiny little bit of hot glue all the way around. Now you could do a lot. I'm not going to. Even though I have a bunch of hot glue. That's all I'm really going to do. See? You could hardly really see it. But, ah, oh, crap. Ow, oh, ow, oh, I just burnt myself. And, yeah, so, look at this. I accidentally stuck my leg on the hot glue. And then right here, I have a huge lump. Right there is a huge lump. Doesn't really show up good on camera. I got some hickeys. I have 12 hickeys all all in my body right now. They're actually just these little durable shoe elastics. But yeah, then all you're gonna need is your string. And I forget where I put that, so I'll be right back when I find it. Okay, and then all you're gonna need is your string. And you're just gonna thread it through here. I gotta see how long mine's gonna be to see if I should double it up. Nope, I'm not gonna double mine up. Then, you're gonna grab both of them together, and you're gonna loop it around one finger, and tie them both together, so then you don't have that huge lump. And you could do it a couple times, I'm only gonna do it twice. Then you just wanna cut off the excess. Unless you're using a true lace like this one. Then you don't want to cut off the excess because then you can still use it for something. And boom. Now I got my two little necklaces. Check them out. Don't know if you guys can see. I don't know if you guys got a good look because I'm my only cameraman. My office is a little dirty but here it is right now. But yeah. There's my shopping list. There's some stuff that I need. But, yeah. Uh, some of these magnets are from phones, like these two. 
There's two like this. These ones are from phones. These ones are from a motor that I accidentally broke. But, yeah. So, please leave a like and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed. And bye. I hope you guys like your necklaces if you, if you made one.